dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh o'er the fields we go laughing all the way bells on bomb tearing making spirits bright oh what fun to ride see a sleigh song. howdy y'all and welcome back to our first installment of cup of cheer from my house uh, as some of you know i was living in a hotel last year so this is kind of a big deal and i thought i would do my first cup of cheer from back home on Advent, since it is the first week of Advent. It is not the first day, sorry I couldn't get a video in in time for that. But it is the first week, so here we go. Here we celebrate Advent. And here are four candles to represent the four weeks of Advent. So what is it, why do we celebrate it, and how do we celebrate it? Well, uh, some celebrate Advent by opening ornaments or boxes every day of the days leading up to Christmas to get the excitement going. But what is the excitement all about? What are they preparing themselves for and why do they do that? Well, in the Christmas Christian tradition, we are excited for the arrival of Christ. In the general public's tradition, it is more likely about gifts and toys and Santa, and that is awesome, that is cool. Um, and a lot of families do that, even in Christian homes. They celebrate Advent just to amp up that excitement and keep everybody all cheerful because it's Christmas time, it's a time of joy and fun. But to Christians, it's a little bit more than that. And since I'm one, oh, well, I thought I'd talk on that. And I am excited because I love celebrating the birth of Christ. And so I love Advent because, well, every day I get to kind of draw a little bit closer and get a little bit more excited for really what my faith is based off of. So here you go. Advent, in a little bit of a description. In the Catholic tradition, they celebrate with candles. Usually four candles that are in a wreath with another candle in the middle. And they light one each week of Advent, of the four weeks of Advent. Sit, Lola. Thank you. <laughs> to prepare their hearts. And while doing so, they read scripture and say prayers to ready their hearts for the coming of Christ. There are other Protestant faiths that also have this tradition. I can't name all of them because I'm not entirely certain. But I do know that several different Christian uh, churches celebrate this tradition of Advent weekly and for the four Sundays leading up to Christmas they light a candle so here is our first candle for Advent some Christian homes like myself probably grew up with something closer to this which is an Advent calendar and you open up one of the boxes each day now they sell these all over the place. Some have little fun little sayings about Christmas or trivia. Uh, some have toys and candy. And this one, and many like it, has scripture verses inside with little depictions of the story of the birth of Christ. This was from one of my relatives some years ago, so all of them are opened up now. <laughs> but I thought I would read to you there you go, Lola. Good girl. I thought I would read to you from a book I got a couple of years ago called Prayers Around the Crib. And it gives a little bit more of an explanation of what Advent is all about. So here we go. Let me flip to week one. Give me just a moment. Where did that page go? Ha! Here we go. Advent. This is for the first week. I'll start with the scripture and then I'll explain. Prepare the way for the Lord. Make his path straight. From Luke 3, 4. And here we go. It will be Christmas soon. In four weeks' time, we will be celebrating the birth of Jesus. 
These four weeks are called Advent. And Advent means arrival. Someone we are waiting for is coming. We have to get ready for Jesus' coming. We have to decorate the house and buy gifts, of course, but above all, we have to get our hearts ready. There's no time to lose. What do I have to change in my life so that I can welcome Jesus better? Lord Jesus, I want to prepare myself to receive you in joy and peace. Light up the path that leads to Christmas. Amen. So, Advent. Where else do we know that from? Adventure, right? Advent is a wonderful thing. It means arrival. We're waiting for the arrival of Christ. And just like an adventure, we're preparing. We have to be prepared for this. Well, maybe we don't have to. Many of us could enjoy Christmas without any preparation. Frankly, give me about two seconds and a Bing Crosby song, and I'm good. But... <laughs> Still, it's so wonderful to be able to prepare your hearts. And I love that we have this chance, this season, to do just that. So, whether you light candles, whether you celebrate once a week, or whether you open up a bottle of beer, I don't know, every day for Advent. Thank you, Facebook. Um, or celebrate on an Advent calendar once a day. And... Maybe part of that is anticipation of the gifts and the goodies that you're going to get on Christmas morning. Who knows? Or maybe it's more so that we can draw closer to Christ on this time. Whatever you do, whatever your reason, I do sincerely hope and pray that you and yours have a very Merry Christmas and a very happy Advent season. <laughs> so, from me and mine... To you and yours, my dogs really want their dinner, so I better be going. A very Merry Christmas. Ciao! We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy